Are we making progress? Maybe, maybe not. Either way, I know how I'm going to spend my birthday today. Using these bunk beds and creating some badass kids' rooms. Or maybe I'll improve the dorms. Or maybe I'll go to my actual families and actually, you know, play with them and add the bunk beds to it. Huh, I don't know now. Hey, welcome to my channel, Catchy Barris. If you're new here, hey, I'm Cher. And if you're returning, hey, I'm still Cher. I hope everyone is feeling great today. We do have a free update for The Sims 4. So I'm assuming a ton of players are either feeling fantastic or annoyed. Annoyed? How can anyone be annoyed at free items and improved personality traits? Well, it's because of a ton of reasons. Sims 4 providing players with minimum content for too much money, or essentially being milk dry, see the brand new kits for example of that. Sims 4 feels like a step down from previous installments, players have been begging for bunk beds for literal years, the animations are lacking in less detail than previous games, and the list goes on. But enough focusing on that negative stuff, we're here for the bunk beds, so let's check them out. Before we do that, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe for future content similar to this. Thank you all for your support. Alrighty, bunk beds. We got them now. I play tested them and honestly, they're good. It comes in four different options. One with a metal bunk bed frame that comes with a top and bottom bed and one that comes with a single top bed. In addition, there's the same two options but with a wooden frame instead of the metal one. If you decide to use a version of it without a bottom bunk, then you can have a small computer desk or bed underneath a top bunk bed. Like, the bed could be rotated in a different way. If you do do this, you need to make sure that there isn't anything touching the ladder or close to it. That means the queen size bed doesn't really work that well. If there's something near the ladder, it won't allow anyone to use the top bunk which is a little annoying. The bottom beds can be removed from the setup and replaced with your own choice. Although if you do this, beware, it won't essentially match with the bunk bed frame or top bed, but it gives you the option to be creative with how the bunk beds look. And it could be really interesting for like twins or two people who have different styles who live in the same room and have a bunk bed. So that could work out. <laughs> A nifty little detail would be the fact that there are two ladders on them, one on either side. This means you can place the bunk bed up against any wall in any direction. Once it's placed up against the wall, the ladder next to the wall disappears. This automatic ladder removal can also be toggled off via the auto bunk beds button in the comfort sort UI, if you don't like that sort of thing. The animations on the bunk beds are cute. I only played with the children getting into the bed, but it was adorable. Also, I just noticed that children can read books under the covers, and I just love that. I have nothing to say about how the animations look. Like, it's nice. It looks good. It doesn't look bad. The whole bunk beds are great. A little late, but it's good. Apparently, there have been improvements to a selection of base game personality traits to create a more meaningful gameplay. This is something I didn't check out in game because honestly, who got time for that? So when you're playing, please make note on the differences and let me know in the comment section. I'll be playing Sims again to check out these changes as well as play the actual game because it's been so long since I've actually played the game. Anywho, in the patch notes, they say that these traits have a noticeable improvement so that the simmers can identify these traits with more obvious visual cues and apparent unique behavior. The traits that have been improved include bookworm, cheerful, clumsy, genius, gloomy, gluten, good, goofball, hates children, hot-headed, jealous, mean, neat, non-committal, and perfectionist. Not only that, but they included reactionary trait changes to slob and ambitious. Are you ready for one of the best parts of this whole update? Okay, okay, hear me out. Daily activities will be completed in less time. This means the Sims will spend less time on taking a shower or eating a meal. Oh man, I haven't really played yet, so I haven't noticed these changes. I love this. I've been begging for this for years. Like, ah, oh, I'm excited. Like a shower won't take up the whole sim day. Okay. 
Additionally, there are improvements on a few hairstyles. Like all of the other improved hairstyles, these ones are great. The afro puff space buns have a natural hairline. They're cute. I love the depth of the bun area. It's nice. Like, this is how it should have looked like. Similarly, the small afro is greatly improved, not only with the texture and the depth of the hair and the detail of that, but also the hairline. Both of them look way more natural and realistic. They don't look like really bad wigs anymore. I can't wait to see more improved hairstyles because they are doing great in that regard. Another high point of this update would be all of the new swatches for a few wall decorations. These additional swatches feature diverse characters, including numerous skin tones, hairstyles, and overall look. It's clear that the team wanted to prove to players that they are about diversity and introducing diversity to the game. I love it. It's always bugged me that one, there's not a lot of posters or paintings or pictures, and two, all of the wall decorations featured only white characters. I was hyped for the bunk beds, but in the end, I'm way more impressed with these changes. It's about gosh darn time. Oh, and one last thing, just to leave this on a higher note than it already was. Apparently, we're going to be getting new hair colors, finally. However, it does look like they're going to be swatches and not like a color wheel or a slider. That isn't really what I wanted, but I'm happy we're getting more colors, like finally. My sims can have unique hair colors and not all just be one hair shade. Furthermore, there's a new trait slot, which is added right underneath the aspirations. You can see that there in the corner. And we're going to be getting a true black swatch. So you can see that our black hair color is kind of not really black, like it's not true black. It's like an off black right now, but we will be getting an updated black swatch. All of this is really cool. The developers didn't really address these changes in the live stream, which showcased them, but we can assume that they're going to be launched in the next update. Stay tuned for more details on that. Alrighty, well, I haven't played Sims in a long time and I'm ready to binge play it today. Thank you so very much for watching this whole video. I appreciate your support. I'm sending so much love and good vibes to all y'all peeps. I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!